In the bustling landscape of modern life, it's easy to overlook the unsung hero, the microchip. These tiny, unassuming components are like the building blocks of the digital world. They power everything from your smartphone and laptop to the machinery that manufactures cars and the equipment that keeps hospitals running. They're the invisible force behind the scenes that make our high-tech lives possible. The impact of microchips on our world is immense, shaping the way we communicate, work, and live, much like the historical breakthroughs that changed the course of human history. At the helm of this technological marvel stands Taiwan, a nation often underestimated in size, which has emerged as a global powerhouse in making these microchips. This exploration takes us on a journey to understand key reasons behind Taiwan's remarkable success in the world of microchip manufacturing. From their early vision that put them ahead of the curve to their focus on education and specialization, we'll uncover how Taiwan's story of microchip excellence unfolded. As Joe Studwell in his book, How Asia Works, aptly noted that among the East Asian countries, Taiwan transitioned from an agriculture-focused economy to prioritizing manufacturing particularly in semiconductor production. Leveraging global technology and a transitioning workforce combined with strategic financial interventions, it achieved unparalleled growth in the chip making sector. So let's dive into the factors that have made Taiwan a leader in the realm of tiny yet transformative technology. Taiwan, an island claimed by the PRC since 1949 and situated just, just 80 to 100 miles off China's southeastern coast, has become an epicenter of U.S. military, technological, and economic interests, especially given its vital role in the global semiconductor supply chain. In terms of the infrastructure, cost structure, Taiwan become by promised land for this kind of stuff. While the U.S.-Taiwan relationship has remained technically unofficial since 1979, it has been conducted robustly through agencies like the American Institute in Taiwan, AIT, and the Taipei Economic and Cultural Representative Office, TECRO. Taiwan's significance has been further highlighted by the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, which due to Taiwan's visionary leadership in the 1980s, manufactures over half the world's semiconductors, including 92% of the most advanced chips designed predominantly by key American companies such as Apple and Intel. As many of you know, we work with TSMC to manufacture the chips that help power our products all over the world. And we look forward to expanding this work in the years to come as TSMC forms new and deeper roots in America. TSMC's unmatched capabilities became even more apparent during the COVID-19 pandemic when chip shortages disrupted global supply chains. The semiconductor industry was sort of rolling along at five or six percent kind of growth rate. And all of a sudden, when COVID happened, that bounced up to demand of 20 to 25 percent. But it also disrupted supply chains. Both China and the U.S. rely heavily on TSMC the U.S. for its designs and China to meet its enormous chip consumption, as evidenced by its 2021 semiconductor imports reaching $432 billion. However, despite extensive investments, China's own state-owned semiconductor company, the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, can only cater to a fraction of its domestic needs. With TSMC providing 70% of China's chips, either through direct production or exports. China and the U.S., despite their technological differences, both heavily rely on Taiwan's unmatched global dominance in semiconductor fabrication, with the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, supplying 70% of chips to China's vast consumer electronics industry and producing 92% of advanced chips for U.S. companies that earn about 47% of total global IC revenue. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taipei in 2022 reignited tensions, leading China to conduct its largest live fire drills near Taiwan since 1966, with three out of six zones intruding into Taiwan's territorial waters. 
China's heavy reliance on Taiwan's semiconductors, sometimes dubbed as Taiwan's Silicon Shield, is a pivotal deterrent to outright aggression, as it would devastate China's economy, dwarfing even the supply chain disruptions caused by the COVID pandemic. This semiconductor advantage has reshaped the U.S.-China-Taiwan dynamic, with Taiwan's technological prowess being irreplaceable despite efforts to diversify chip fabrication sources. TSMC is investing $40 billion here in Arizona, the largest foreign investment in the history of this state. Over 10,000 construction jobs and 10,000 high-tech jobs will be created. Additionally, Worsening U.S.-China relations stem from American defense against China's regional military ambitions, the U.S.'s strong support for Taiwan's democracy, and China's belief that the U.S. aims to curb its rise by restricting advanced semiconductor exports. This complex relationship poses a significant challenge to maintaining peace in East Asia and the Western Pacific. Before we dive deeper, consider joining our creative journey on Patreon. Your support amplifies our mission to deliver top-notch content. Now, let's get back to our discussion. Recognizing semiconductor significance, the Taiwanese government provided crucial support to lay the foundation for a robust semiconductor industry. This multifaceted approach encompassed substantial investments in research and development, leading to the establishment of institutions like the Industrial Technology Research Institute, ITRI, in 1973. These strategic interventions not only attracted foreign partnerships and investments, but also propelled the nation to the forefront of the unfolding tech revolution. The government's catalytic role, combined with collaborative efforts, laid the groundwork for Taiwan's ascent in the world of electronics manufacturing and innovation. Notably, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, TSMC, an industry titan of Taiwanese origin now commands a staggering 90% of the global premier semiconductor manufacturing capacity. Taiwan's position as a semiconductor powerhouse is anchored not only in its historical legacy, but also in its resolute dedication to STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. This commitment ensures the country's enduring leadership in both semiconductor design and manufacturing. Building on its pioneering spirit in the semiconductor sector, Taiwan has strategically focused on nurturing a new generation of skilled engineers to sustain its edge. The argument from Amanda Ripley's book, The Smartest Kids in the World and How They Got That Way, emphasize that technical skills from a young age helps to foster nations with a generation of innovators. This educational approach is a cornerstone of the advanced nation's technological ascendancy. The Taiwanese government's substantial investments in STEM education have been a driving force. An illustrative example is the allocation of $300 million dedicated to semiconductor-centric graduate programs. The creation of specialized semiconductor research hubs within universities, exemplified by institutions like the Center for Advanced Study of Semiconductors, CAS, underscores Taiwan's commitment to providing the essential infrastructure for innovation. A tangible measure of Taiwan's emphasis on STEM education is the remarkable 20% surge in program enrollments. This surge has propelled Taiwan to an impressive 11th global ranking in terms of STEM graduates per capita. Corporations, acutely aware of their role, have actively participated in advancing STEM education. The TSMC Foundation, for instance, has proactively launched initiatives like the TSMC Science Tour to foster interest and knowledge in STEM fields among young minds. In the tapestry of Taiwan's semiconductor success, the strong thread of STEM education stands as a critical pillar. It not only safeguards the industry's future, but also cements Taiwan's status as a global leader in semiconductor technology through the continuous cultivation of skilled professionals. Beyond its robust educational foundation, Taiwan's semiconductor leadership hinges on strategic specialization. This distinct approach sets the nation apart on the global stage. Leading companies have meticulously carved out niches that leverage their strengths. Notably, TSMC excels in external chip production, while UMC stands out for cost-effective manufacturing. MediaTek, following a fabulous model, exemplifies Taiwan's chip design prowess. Specialization yields palpable outcomes, elevating companies to industry leadership status. T 
TSMC's dominance, UMC's efficiency-driven model, and MediaTek's innovation prowess underline the strategic precision. Beyond boosting scale and competitiveness, this laser-focused expertise magnetizes foreign investment, further cementing Taiwan's semiconductor supremacy. At that time, the big company, IBM, GE, the CEO's salary, including his salary, is about 40 times the salary. Now, the salary of an expert and this bonus is about 400x. Taiwan's journey is a seamless transition from educational foundation to strategic specialization. This transition etches an indelible mark in the semiconductor domain solidifying the nation's unmatched global stature. Taiwan's semiconductor industry not only benefits from public sector commitment, but also thrives due to substantial private sector investment in research and development, R&D. As per data available on Trendforce, Taiwan's semiconductor industry R&D spending grew in 2022. The private sector allocated a noteworthy $17.6 billion to semiconductor R&D. This marked a remarkable 16.8% increase from the previous year, underlining the private sector's deep involvement in driving innovation. Taiwan's semiconductor ascendancy fortified by its strategic location and robust financial footing, further shines through a symbiotic ecosystem of suppliers, state-of-the-art research institutions, and interconnected industries. At the heart of this tapestry lies the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, the globe's preeminent contract chip maker. Beyond mere production, it galvanizes an intricate network from suppliers ensuring streamlined operations to renowned establishments igniting revolutionary advancements. It is most likely if you have a smartphone, you have something made by TSMC. Anchoring the symbiosis is the Sinchu Science Park, a cradle of collaboration and innovation hosting major semiconductor stalwarts. Taiwan's exceptional rise in the semiconductor realm isn't just underpinned by technical prowess. It's fortified by a robust intellectual property, IP framework. This framework encompasses patent and copyright laws, backed by specialized IP courts, all designed to safeguard IP rights, foster innovation, and encourage foreign investment. In recognition of its strong IP framework, Taiwan received high marks in the 2021 International IP Index, ranking 14th out of 53 economies. This ranking places Taiwan ahead of countries such as China, India, and Brazil. Taiwan's IP framework is on par with those of developed nations, offering robust protections for patents, trademarks, and copyrights. The establishment of specialized IP courts and the alignment of patent and copyright laws have further fortified Taiwan's IP framework, cultivating an innovation-friendly atmosphere. One notable benefit of Taiwan's strong IP framework is its attractiveness to foreign investment. This framework assures foreign investors that their intellectual property rights will be safeguarded, mitigating the risk of theft or infringement. Consequently, foreign companies are more inclined to invest in Taiwan, infusing the country with capital, technology, and expertise. Moreover, the conducive environment for innovation created by the strong IP framework also appeals to foreign firms seeking collaborative opportunities with Taiwanese counterparts in research and development endeavors. Taiwanese companies have forged numerous global partnerships that have proven to be mutually beneficial. Among these notable collaborations are TSMC's alliance with Apple, MediaTek's partnership with Google, and Quanta Computer's synergy with Microsoft. These partnerships yield a range of advantages for Taiwanese companies. TSMC's collaboration with Apple, for instance, has yielded significant gains for Apple's products, including enhanced power efficiency and performance improvements. MediaTek's partnership with Google has democratized machine learning techniques, making them accessible to mobile developers of varying skill levels. In a similar vein, Quanta Computer's synergy with Microsoft has facilitated the swift deployment of private cloud solutions for business customers. These collaborative ventures enable Taiwanese companies to expand their global reach, mitigate risks through diversification, 
and pivot their international branding efforts away from being solely associated with China. Taiwan has a robust infrastructure foundation that supports its semiconductor industry. TSMC, for example, has invested $20 billion in a state-of-the-art semiconductor facility that demonstrates Taiwan's capacity to house and facilitate advanced manufacturing operations. Taiwan has also made strategic investments in critical infrastructure, such as rail and power, which form the foundation of its semiconductor prowess. Taiwan's remarkable ascent in the semiconductor industry is a symphony of strategic vision, innovation, and unwavering commitment. Its global partnerships, combined with its ability to attract diverse talent, ensure that the crescendo of success continues. Taiwan's journey in the semiconductor sector is not just a story of participation in technological progress, but active leadership in steering it. Through its resolute dedication, Taiwan not only dominates the semiconductor domain, but also paves the way for others to follow, setting a compelling example of what visionary planning and persistent execution can achieve in the ever-evolving landscape of technology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth coverage. Stay informed, and we'll see you in our next video.